Heather here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a fishtail braid. Now a fishtail braid is a fairly simple braid. I'm going to warn you it's not the quickest of braids, but the beauty of the fishtail braid is that it's a relaxed style. So it totally works with going with a little messier look. I'm going to do a side fishtail braid so you can see what I'm doing better so I can see what I'm doing better. So I'm going to start with a little side part to bring some of my hair to the side. You don't have to do that, you can just bring it to the side. And I'm going to do a zigzag part just for a little more flair, I guess. A little zigzag here. Oh, let's do a better zigzag than that. That was a pretty shallow zigzag. Oh, that's a little better. I don't know if you can see that, but I have a zigzag in my hair. Quick little side tangent here. If you want to just take a bobby pin or something, like this pretty one, and pull the side back here and go with that throughout the day. Sometimes I'll take this section here and I'll pull that back with a flexi. So a couple little styling ideas there. But now we're going to continue on with the fishtail. So I'm going to bring my hair to the front and I'm going to divide my hair into two sections. So I have a right-handed section, this is my right hand, and a left-handed section. I'm going to take a section from here, a hair from the left-handed section, and move it over to the right. And then take a section from the back of your right hair hand and move it over to that left-handed section. And again, got to make sure I have all my hair here. Take here some hair from the left, move it to the right, and from the right, moving it over to the left. Now this will go a little faster if you take bigger sections of hair. It's also a good way to get more of a chunkier, messier look. If you want to be very precise and grab the same amount of hair each time and make it very, I guess, precise, uh, you can do that. It's going to take a lot more time and I don't like spending more than five minutes on my hair. Now we're starting to get somewhere and you should be able to see that fishtail start to form in just a minute. If this were a regular braid, I'd be all the way down with my hair by now. There we go. Stand a little bit on my toes a bit more. Keep my hair in the camera frame. So again, I'm just taking small sections of hair from the, I guess I'm taking from the back of each section and then moving it over to the front of each, the opposite section. So from the back left to the front right and on like that. And then you're going to just continue this pattern all the way to the end or until you get tired of fishtailing, which is usually what I do when I do a fishtail.
When you have that fish tail, as long as you want it, then you're just going to secure it. I don't like hair elastic, so I'm going to use this flexi clip. This is a mini. I just stick that in there. And there you go. You have a cute little fishtail braid. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.